So hi everyone, I'm John Paulson. I am the founder and director of Tropfest um, internationally. I started Tropfest myself 20 years ago in a small cafe in Sydney, Australia. I made a, a short film and needed someone to screen it. I, I screened it at a cafe called the Tropicana Cafe in Sydney and that's where the festival got its name, Tropfest. Um, I couldn't be more excited about the fact that uh, in October, we're having our second Tropfest Arabia. Tropfest, since those early days, starting in the cafe, it grew out of the cafe and then Sydney and then to capital cities around Australia. And now um, I'm excited to say it's, it's become a bit of a global event um, that takes place in different countries. You know, we recently had Tropfest New York, Tropfest Las Vegas in June of this year. Um, New York was hosted by Hugh Jackman, which we were all very excited about. Um, Tropfest Australia obviously is sort of off the charts these days and we're launching Tropfest New Zealand, Southeast Asia, we're, taught, we're in discussion in China and other places. This is our second Tropfest Arabia um, taking place in October. Uh, my incredible partner over there, 2454, did an amazing job last year of our very first Tropfest. We had 12,000 people on the beach there uh, in the Corniche in Abu Dhabi. It's open to filmmakers from across the region. Um, no exceptions. We had a very um, fair balance of filmmakers from all over the Middle East and North Africa last year. Um, and we had an amazing response from filmmakers. And from what I'm hearing on, on the email, on the phone calls, we, we, we might even get a better response this year, which, which we're excited about. Um, so I welcome you. I encourage you to have a go. Uh, this is about people finding voices. And in the 20 years of Tropfest, it's been amazing to see how many careers have come out of this, not just directors but writers, producers, actors, production designers and everybody else. And I know there's a huge, I know from being there, there's a huge amount of talent across the Middle East and North Africa region and I couldn't be more excited that Tropfest has providing a, a sort of a, a, a lightning rod, if you will, um, for the people in the region to show what they've got that's outside of the Hollywood system and, and to tell their own local stories um, which, you know, start local and then go global through this uh, platform. So, again, have a great time and I'll see you uh, at Tropfest Arabia uh, in October of this year. So, yeah, I think uh, Tropfest definitely offers opportunities to filmmakers um, this is not just about you know becoming famous or 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 profiting. Although hopefully you know one of the side effects of building a film career is to make a living out of it. Um, but really, Tropfest is um, a platform for somebody who's got talent and somebody who's got a great idea to get the biggest audience in the world for short films. Um, it's that simple. And 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 what you do with that, I say to filmmakers, is really up to you. Um, if you're lucky enough to get into the finals or if you win um, an award, then it's really, you know, I think we've done our part. We've given you an audience. We've given you a platform. But it's really up to, you know, do you have a feature script you want to make? Do you have another short film you want to make next? Obviously, we'll help in any way we can. And that's what's exciting about the first prize is, you know, being a trip um, to Los Angeles um, to, you know, have a week of meetings with studio executives and all the rest of it and not to mention the local uh, success that you achieve uh, in Arabia itself. So I think it's really up to the filmmaker in some ways, but, but I see this as a, as a competition very much for storytellers um, and not just about becoming famous. We've had that for 20 years in Australia. The first prize has been um, cameras and um, editing facilities and all the rest of it. Um, but I think you'll find that most filmmakers, the complaint is the reverse. You know, with cash, you can do all kinds of things in filmmaking, and anybody who's passionate about filmmaking would use a cash prize to make their next film. But the beauty of cash, of course, is that it's flexible. You don't have to be dictated, you know, by a particular camera or a particular editing facility. But I think in the perfect world, at the perfect trot fest, the prizes are cash and equipment and facilities and, of course, um, recognition uh, and meetings and, and doors opening and those kind of things. I mean, that's, in, you know, 
over the 20 years that I've spoken to filmmakers and winners of Tropfest about what's you know been the greatest benefit for them, I think nine times out of ten people have said it's opened those doors that you know people have been calling up agents and not getting return calls and all the rest of it, and suddenly winning Tropfest or even just being a finalist can change all of that. Well, I think some people have asked the question, you know, why, why Abu Dhabi? And I think that's a fair question. This is Trop Fest Arabia. This is open to anybody from the MENA region. Um, the answer to Abu Dhabi is very simple. I think it's a, it's a city that's um, going through a very interesting time. There's a lot of support there um, for, for the arts and for culture and for film in particular. Um, it's the home of, of 2454, which is our big partner, obviously, so that makes a big difference. But we, we welcome people from all over the region and we've even discussed in future years, you know, I've always been obsessed with the idea, even back in Australia, that, you know, the winner of, of say, Tropfest, um, you know, if they're from Melbourne, the next year Tropfest is hosted from Melbourne and the next year the winner is from Perth and it's, you know, and so on. I, I would love to see that happen in the Middle East. For now, we're just starting. This is year two. I think it's very important to build the momentum we, we need and we want and build the recognition, obviously. As, as little as a year ago, nobody knew what Tropfest was in Arabia. Now, hopefully, that's starting to change. So I can certainly see a time in the not-too-distant future where if, if the filmmaker that wins is from Cairo, then the following year, that's where the event takes place. I, I, I think that's a really exciting approach. Um, we're just not there yet. You know, this is year two. We need to sort of walk before we run. And right now our audience and our support is, has been sort of started in Abu Dhabi. Although, as I mentioned, you know, I mean, last year we had a huge number of filmmakers from Egypt, which I found very encouraging. Obviously, there's a big film community there. We had films from all over the region. Um, so clearly the word is getting out. But in terms of where the event takes place right now, it's in Abu Dhabi. Um, as far as playing the finalists throughout the year, I mean, yeah, we look for any opportunity we can to play those finalists. We're always talking to other festivals uh, around the world about doing Tropfest programs and all the rest of it. And if you look at our history, we've done that successfully for, I won't say 20 years, but certainly for the last 10. We've done screenings in Bangkok and London and Mexico and uh, Paris and all over the world. Um, Again, this is only year two for Tropfest Arabia. It's a little early for us to sort of start, you know, um, throwing our weight around in the sense of, um, you know, forming relationships with other festivals in the region. Um, but having said that, um, the finalists from this year's Tropfest or should I say last year's Tropfest Arabia know that we, we had, I think we had a screening in, uh, in China. Um, so the films are getting out. Obviously, our YouTube channel is a big part of that. But, yeah, we don't say no to any, any screenings and it, there's just so many resources to go around in terms of, you know, forming those relationships. But I think as the, as the momentum grows for Tropist Arabia, those opportunities will increase. Not at all. Um, you know, we do ask that filmmakers haven't submitted their films for Tropfest to other festivals. And there's a very simple reason for that. You know, we have a commitment to our audience as well as to our filmmakers. I, I want people to come along in Abu Dhabi on the night and see films they've never seen before. And that includes on the internet. And I think it's very difficult to do that these days. Everything is so accessible. We, we have pure premieres at Tropfest. After Tropfest, of course, we have grand ambitions for those films. But I don't want. I don't. I don't think it's fair to expect people to come along to a live event and sort of, you know, spend their time getting there and and and, and um, you know wherever that may be from. It may be around Abu Dhabi, it may be around the Middle East or North Africa region for that matter to come out to this event and see films that they could watch on YouTube or on on something else. Um, you know, that's a big part of Tropfest, and I say to filmmakers, if that's not fair to you, I understand, but don't enter Tropfest because that's who we are and what we do. Um, you know, I think that's one of the exciting things about this event. You can see films at Tropfest that you've never seen anywhere else. Um, however, that night, like I said, at midnight or so, they go on the YouTube channel and they go out and on NBC, our, our supporter over there, um, 
So uh, I, I don't think it's a disadvantage at all. I think quite the opposite. I think one of the reasons Stropfest has managed to build the momentum that it has is because audiences and filmmakers and sponsors, importantly, know that the content that's generated has never been seen before, and that, that helps create a buzz. So, you know, we've had a question um, about why Trotfest Arabia is not open to uh, residents of Tunisia, and that's actually incorrect. We are open to residents of Tunisia. As I mentioned, we're, we're open, you can see on our website, all the places, we're open to a, really any citizen, uh, well, I shouldn't say resident, citizen of the MENA region of the, of the Middle East and North Africa region, including Tunisia. Um, you know, I will say that we wanted to have a workshop there in June. Um, in Tunisia, we had, as many people know, we had workshops all over the region. Unfortunately, for um, reasons that were outside of our control, we couldn't do that this year. But we are very much planning to have a workshop in Tunisia in 2013, which we're very excited about. So, yes, filmmakers from Tunisia are very welcome to enter Tropfest and hopefully become a finalist and come to the event. Um, and in the meantime, keep your fingers crossed that we can manage to hold a workshop in Tunisia next year. Look, I think my, my um, greatest advice to filmmakers wanting to get into Tropfest Arabia or any Tropfest for that matter is to, you know, find your own voice, to have a clear idea, to have a vision for your film. Um, it's great to watch other films and get, you know, um, experience or, you know, even ideas or whatever it might be from other films. Um, but I think the one... Um, overriding factor in success both at Tropfest and anywhere outside of Tropfest in the film industry or frankly any of the creative arts is people respond to your voice um, more than anything. Uh, they want to see your point of view on the world. Um, you know, they, they're, they're not looking for a retread of some other idea. And that's not to say it has to be bizarre and arty and, and, and sort of pretentious the other way where it's almost being... Um, different for the sake of being different. I'm just saying search deep within yourself as any artist should about what really, um, what your point of view of the world is and the planet or whatever your subject is for your film. And I think if you can do that successfully, um, you'll find that the judges may take notice and the audiences may take notice. Um, I think at the end of the day, one of the things that's most ex exciting to me about Tropfest Arabia when I was there in October or November last year watching the thing and we had 12,000 people on the beach and all the rest of it, um, was seeing that, yes, this is a completely other, you know, different part of the world from Australia where this festival was born or, or from the USA where we take place in New Zealand and, 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 and elsewhere, Southeast Asia and other places. Um, but... At our heart, people are effectively the same. We all want to hear good stories. We all want to tell great stories. Um, we all want to be moved by things. So that's why I say to filmmakers, try and um, find your own unique voice. And you might be surprised how many people can relate to that. And that's when you can win Trotfest. <laughs>